I had uh, 21 years. I'm, I'm retired Air Force, 21 years. Uh, retired as E7 Master Sergeant, and then I was in uh, combat engineering. Um, I, uh, a lot of the areas that probably, str what I struggle in the most is, is pain, pain levels. It's, it's just, it's daily and it's constant and it's every day. Um, I've just got a lot of just, uh, bone and joint issues in my neck and my spine and my hips and my shoulders. And it's just, it's just a daily struggle. Um, I've, I've been, um, getting help through the years through the VA and I tell you it's just I, I just w would really like to get off of this medication a lot of medication I'm on just for pain I'm always mixing it up I'm trying not to stay on the same medications and it's just it's just continuous um, I've got issues um, with um, you know depression maybe a little anxiety <clears throat> and um, memory um, recall, trying to remember kind of what to say or getting the words out that you know I think I want to say or remembering words and, and that that's it seems to be getting worse and worse as the years go on. And I think it's more than just old age. <laughs> um, I have a constant dull pain in my neck that's a constant three, four, or five all the time. I'm always having to reposition and readjust my neck while I'm talking to people. It just I, my range of motion is limited and I just I have that feeling in my neck all the time like you want to like you have to crack your knuckles and I gotta do it in my spot up my, my neck. Um, uh, and then I have pain when I'm sleeping. Um, my shoulders, I've got a bone spur in my right shoulder and a degenerated left shoulder and throughout the day, my arms and hands go numb. I could be while I'm driving, while I'm using my phone, and while I'm sleeping, if I'm laying on my side, that's one side goes numb and it wakes me up and it's in pain and then I gotta roll over to the other side and then after a little while, that'll wake me up in pain and it's just all over the place. Okay. And it's frustrating. It's um, been been experience. I definitely um, one thing I really like to recommend to people is you've got to make sure that you um, treat yourself as a mission and stay dedicated and go into treatments every day and, and not to skip. I do have to say uh, on that side of things, I, I do feel a lot. Uh, I, I guess clear-headed is a good way to good way to put it. I am uh, my my recall memory is much better. Um, than before. My pain is, um, it's kind of a mixed bag. I did write a lot about what, how I was going through the treatments and what was happening to me a, a, each day. I had some great days where I felt fantastic. I had a lot of days where my pains were just all still there. They were even worse at times. Today I uh, have some pains that are, are gone or really relieved. I, I would say um, some of my surgery pains that I've had are probably at maybe 50 to 75 percent of what they were. My hips feel better. They do hurt when I do certain actions, but just the day-to-day, -day, well, I'm walking better today, that's for sure. Um, you know, just the sitting in different positions are improved. Um, I'm, I'm having issues with my neck still. My neck and shoulders still hurt, probably as much or worse, but from what I understand, there's still weeks and weeks of um, my body going through um, healing and improving. So I, from what I understand, that's to, to be expected. All in all, I would say the pain is better and my uh, mental, mental and emotional state feels a whole lot more um, healthy and more sharp. I'm sleeping deeper, I'm sleeping, I, I, I wake up um, much more refreshed. I definitely feel better when I wake up in the mornings for sure. I do have issues still with my pain during the sleep, during my sleep when I, um, my, my pains wake me up throughout the night still. I go right back to sleep. I feel like each time I, I still go right back to sleep deep. Um, you know, I still get woken up, but for what I go through through the night, I, it's, hard to believe actually that I feel so well when I do wake up.